Math teachers know many kids have a tough time wrapping their brains around fractions, but some are finding that you can hit a high note when you use music to teach this fuzzy math concept. Dr. Sue Corey has researched this topic. So, Sue, what is the connection between music and fractions? Well, I think it starts with fractions being introduced in third grade, and this is right after students have just mastered whole numbers. So that's a source of confusion. Should I do that, or should I do something else? What should I write here? Uh, what do you say? Two. Excellent answer. But they come to music naturally, and music and music notes and rhythms. And so as students are learning that a whole note is four beats and a half note is two beats, then that information allows them to really engage in the curriculum through movement, through reading the music notes, and through tapping, which every kid likes to do. So if a child is struggling with fractions, how does using the music make it more concrete for them? Well, with the program that we use, they learn music first. So they're not thinking about the confusing fraction symbols and math sentences. We solely start with music. Here you go, see, one, see, ready, go. They learn to read the music notes and tap them out. And we use 4-4 four, four time so that the whole note is always four beats. They get to feel the difference between a whole note, which is one, two, three, four. So that's the whole, but it's been divided into four beats. They get that early on, they practice it every day. So in their minds, they're adding and subtracting fractions by maintaining that 4-4 four, four beat. So let me do it first. Ta ah. Can you do the same thing? Go. Fantastic. So as fractions are being introduced in, in grade three, third grade, mm -hmm. that's when you generally start using this music program to help explain and make fractions more concrete. And, and they're not afraid because they start out by doing music. They're completely engaged, and yet at the same time, their brain is counting beats. And they're learning fractions conceptually as opposed to procedures. Here at Decima Allen Elementary School in San Bruno, California, music and math have become natural study buddies. How many eight notes, did, by the way, how many eight notes did I play? Here's again, listen. At the moment when the music is on, you see the children enjoy moving, stepping, dancing. Simple what we do is using the simple elements, we turn it into, we, we emphasizing on a little bit the music theory part, and we turn it into a simple math game. We introduce the, the length of the notes, the duration, the length of the notes. We introduce whole note, half note, quarter note, eight note. And what we do, we use, uh, uh, we step and clap with the music or without music, just simply following the, the, the feel, feeling the pulse and the beat. And these little musical games turn into a little simple mathematical equation. So if it's one over, what would I be? Uh, simple is, yeah, there you go, fantastic. Now, as a parent who wants to try this with their child, but has no music background, how, how can the parent do this at home? Most of the music is written in 4-4 time signature. We, especially you can see all the pop songs, most of them you can hear them. Spend a lot of time with your child, play music, and you can create your own musical game. But uh, what, no matter what you do is you can turn it into half, half, quarter, and eighth. All they need is basic understanding of rhythm. And I think most people really have that. The whole note is four beats, the half note is two beats. You can clap, you can step, you can use two pencils if you don't have drumsticks. And then gradually, you can bring in the mathematical symbols. So in addition to just having your measures of music, underneath each, you write the fraction symbol for each of the notes. Have you seen that the children feel a sense of accomplishment? How do they feel when they're done with their classes? Well, it's just fantastic to see students 
uh, ESOS students, English as a second language students who kind of shy away from answering questions. But through music, m they more engage students with ADHD, students with hearing impairment, uh, with, uh, with learning difficulties. Students were all more engaged when, when they learned through music. Thank you so much for sharing your well, academic you. music program and allowing us to see you in action with the kids. We've really enjoyed it. Thank you. For more information on how to incorporate music and math, visit our activity section now.